Um, you know, guys, it's been a while. I think it's been about a few months since I've last posted a video. But um, I'm back out to where a few of my videos are filmed. We got a light wind flowing this way. Um, it's a bit colder, so hopefully the salmon are on. I've got two setups with me today. First, I got my three to six kilo Anarchy with a 3K removal, 15 pound braid, and I got a metal tied onto that. Now my next setup, I got my 2,500 Sustain with a 722 LRS Infi SK with eight pound X link leader. Yes, and I've got a little plastic tied onto that. But I am gonna be selling this rod because it just doesn't suit my type of fishing. So I'm gonna be looking at getting a Zero, a TD Black, a XFLC, maybe even an Ocean's Legacy Quest, maybe a Tico Premium, we'll see how we go. But um, yeah, got the place to myself. My mate Max might be coming out. Anyway, that's enough talking from me. We'll start fishing. Right, I've just moved up a bit. Um, I don't know how this is gonna go with the wind, but. Here it is. And what I'll show you is when I cast, is that my leader? Not or not? No. There's just shit on it. So on here I've got a 1610 jig head with a 3.2 bait junkie minnow. But my sustain, when I get a good cast, you see the backing start popping through. Which is not what you want. So I'm gonna sell this. It, it's a great rod, it's really comfy, it's really light, but the butt join, it just, it's annoying for me. With all the new technology in the rods nowadays, that eliminate, oh, oh, that's good. This is gonna be the biggest fish I've ever got on the infeet. I've only caught two tiny salmon. It's still tiny, but... <laughs> Bro, the infeet makes it feel huge. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna get bullied for that. <laughs> Just over legal. Right, I'm gonna go for. Uh, I'll pepper all the way up to those logs up there if you guys can see it. Do I have my phone on me? I do. Right, I'm gonna stop talking because I'm probably just boring you all. But um, if I hook up, I'll show you. I'll be recording. I'll just. Won't show me peppering this whole zone in the video because then you'll go watch a different video. So I'll see you when I'm hooking up. All right, so we're gonna have a color change because we've had some storms and a fair bit of rain the last couple of days. So this green naturally color just isn't cutting it. So I think I've got a pink shiny flashy one that we'll put on see if that has any attention and then hmm I might try a vibrant plastic if I packed any but they're just showing no attention in this just gotta match the hatch just gotta find what they're liking because normally these natural colours are good normally this water's clear as but we've got a fair bit of rain so one more cast with this here. Yeah, so that's just beat up, got no eyes, it's just not cutting it anymore. That's alright, check my phone. I'm staying on zero brightness, so my um battery stays because I've only got 20% right let's see what we've got but I reckon, I reckon we'll try that if that doesn't work well we're in for some trouble The 
current is just absolutely taking that, so I'm just having my finger and I'm letting the lure drop. When I put my mark to see where the tide was, it must be coming in. Yeah, it's coming in. Is it? Oh, I don't know. I don't really care. No, yeah, it should be coming in. It was low as at the entrance. Yes! My colour change worked! And that's not a midget one either. Oh, you're... F oh. Don't swear. Or if I just slowly wind in the metal, then it'll just like flutter to the side, be shiny. Oh, I guess you could say I'm the smartest fisherman in the world. Colour change, different retrieve methods, tighten up a bit. So I got a 20 pound leader. I just like to keep the tension on this fish. So I really want to land in. Bloody good as well. Like high 40s. Oh. And the jump. The jump. The jump made him spit it. Oh, I'm playing rough on these fish now. Same method. I'm just going to slowly let it flutter by them all. He was good. He was girthy. Yep. Alright, that, that, that's, that's, that's. What's it called? Hook is set. Fight him to the side so I can always keep his tension as he's swimming in. Oh. Oh. He's fat and he's good. Oh, coming into the colder months and we've got some better fish. I really want to get him. When I see him jump, I just got to wind and wind and wind. He jumps. He jumps, I just got to wind. He's 47. But he's really fat. I'd love a hold up with him, but... Don't have anyone to get a hold up with. But he is super fat. Like really, really fat. After I lost the first one, I hooked up, lost him after the colour change. Then different technique, I hooked up and lost him. I'm just hoping they're still out there. Later in the afternoon, a lot colder. He was only 47 centimetres, but he was really fat. He's gone, I can't see him anywhere. I'll try to slow roll this plastic. It's slow rolling this plastic, get oh, on the in feet. Oh, oh, lost him, got him, oh. Oh, on the in feet. Oh, this wasn't smart. That's all right, I should be able to get him. Just playing slow. Imagine I catch a new PB on the in feet. Okay, this isn't gonna be as easy as I thought. <laughs> That isn't loose either. Obviously it's not locked because I've got eight pound leader with this fish. Oh, it's not even that, he's not as big as the last one. But it's still a good sized fish. And on the, 
These are these have got to be one of the best light tackle fish. Like this is a PE 0 0.4 to 0 0.8, an eight pound leader. And this fish is putting up an awesome fight. Like look at him go. They do not give up. Here he is. I see him. He's gonna have a run in a sec. Watch, he's gonna see the shallows and go. He's not even that big. He's nowhere near as big as the other one. Just gotta get him up. Oh my god, if I had the last one on the in feet. And he's not he's not tiny though. Oh my god, this is so much fun, bro. Eight pound. I know it's not the lightest, but Here we go, he's starting to give up. Is he? Pump him up. Oh, he's still, he's not, he's not bad. He's still not a bad sized fish at all. Like he's still, no, he might be bigger. He actually might be bigger. On the in I'll stand, I can't leave Is he bigger? He's a couple centimeters smaller. So I might be, might be able to get a photo out of the camera. He should go off pretty quick. He's good. He's so good. How good was that? Here, so if you spoke to me, I'll go over to it. Yep, that's set. Do you want to fight it, Dad? No. I want to go catch him with my other rod. But you have to hold the skate. I'm going to try and get this one in, mark where I am, and then come cast it out here. Nowhere near as much fun. Oh, he spat me. Oh, no way I got spat. Where was I? I was here. Yep. Oh, yep. He's not as big, I don't think. Haven't got a run yet. Head shakes. Where is he? Oh. They're fat. There's a fat school of them out there. Surprised he hasn't run as much. Eight pound later, I've got to play him slow. Right here. Look how much he's going. He's going. Oh, 
he's just yeah, right in front. His shadow will come up in a sec. Never mind, he's back out there. Oh! Here he is. And he'll come up and he'll go again. See? And he's got to keep tying it out. It's so much fun though. It's such a light tackle. Little, little brimstick. Come on up. Come on. Got him. Oh. Oh. As it dropped. I mean, Mark here. Make a little hole. And once I bring him in, I cast the in feed out. I'm just pumping him. I've got 20 pound. He's gonna jump. Yep. And he spat it as he jumped. I called it. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Coming into me, trying to spit it. It's not even that big. You got to be ready for when they jump to wind in that slack because that's how they spit it. Be a lot smaller. He's out. Straight off. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed chasing some salmon on the light tackle. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.